As artists, our job is to create the spaces for people to dream big and to push our understanding of what could be possible. And I think that we're actually doing that. The project is an adaptation of the oldest piece of literature in the Yiddish language written for fun. And it's called the Bavo Buch. And we were tasked with making an adaptation of the book that tells the story and explores the writer of the book and also asks, what does this have to do with life as we're living now? Right, like we just saw in that video. And so this will be closed here. Somehow. All around us today, we're confronted with problems of immigration and refugees and people looking for a new home and how are they integrated and how do we understand them? And this 500-year-old story, which is a kind of a comedy, is really a lens through which we can address this much more serious, deeper question for us today. I think that the show works with today's political realities and shows ways of working with very, very heavy conflicts that range from being really deeply moving and redemptive all the way to very funny. And um, probably most people wouldn't expect that this comes out of Yiddish theater or out of the Yiddish world. The whole atmosphere of the piece is more like carnival than it is a traditional theater piece where the audience sits and looks up at the stage. And the reason for that is that we're trying to really move people and touch their thinking and expand their imagination and give them the feeling that they're active, not just that they have to listen to what someone tells them, but that they can have their own imagination. It's a, it's a theater which is supposed to be empowering. It's a theater of empowerment. The visuals and the music and all of these aspects of the piece are just so uh, engaging that I think that anyone who sees it would, even if they didn't know what it was about, they would just see it and they would get involved in it. It's all based in puppet theater and theater that uses, that is driven by puppets and music. So there'll be three parts of the show. The first part, um, you'll meet all the characters and sort of learn the world that you're being asked to enter into. Then we'll make a procession where the story of Bavo continues and you see him sort of go from becoming a stable boy into becoming a full-fledged knight. This kind of show has the ability to open space where there feels like there isn't any. Like things are very confusing in the world right now. There's a lot of violence, there's a lot of movement of populations. And the idea of the show is just to give you a chance to breathe. Since the war, there has never been a piece of theater coming from the Yiddish tradition, anything like this piece in Europe. It's really a unique opportunity to, on the one hand, connect with a an old avant-garde tradition of Yiddish theater that existed before the war, and also really the cutting edge of what's going on in the world today in new theater and in new Yiddish theater. Baba Mises is for me a perfect example of the kind of project that I want to happen. It brings together all of the dimensions of art and of fun and of history and of giving people or feeling of power and possibility in their lives. Uh, I, I'm absolutely in love with the people who are doing this project and very happy to be part of it.